Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the drive pulley on a lawn tractor with an electric clutch. It's not hard to do. If you follow my video, you're surely going to be able to do it yourself. It does drive, however, when you do hit a bit of resistance. Let's say you're going up a hill or you're driving in rough terrain. The tractor does slip or doesn't want to drive. And I've basically diagnosed this problem as being the drive pulley. They do get worn out a bit and they do need to be replaced from time to time. Now if you have a tractor lift, it does work better to work underneath this tractor. What I've done for today though is I've just put a few 2x6s underneath the front wheels to just jack it up a little bit. Because the mowing deck is not on this tractor at the present moment, it will be a little easier to perform this job. And second, you want to make sure that you've got the parking brake on. And the tools needed for this job are an air impact with a 5.8 socket, also a ratchet and a 5.8 socket. And it does help if you have some kind of lighting underneath when you're working on it. First of all, this is the clutch for accessories like the mowing deck or snowblower. And the drive belt pulley is right up there at the top. And this here is the drive belt. You can tell it's a bit frayed from the pulley spinning on the belt. Now the belt is very loose because I do have the parking brake on at the moment. Now the first thing you want to do is disconnect the electric clutch. Now this is fairly easy to do, just basically grab the connector, squeeze the two prongs here, and then just pull. Now if I take you underneath the lawn tractor, this is the bolt that you need to remove. It's a 5 8 bolt. And what I find works the best for removing these bolts is an air impact. I'm just going to loosen the bolt up. Be careful that you don't take it out all the way like this before you're able to secure the clutch because it will slide down in most cases. As you can see, it's coming down, so I'm not going to take off the bolt completely. I'm just going to leave the clutch hanging there. Also, before you remove the electric clutch, you may want to turn it slightly to be out of the way of any obstacles. For example, here, it's in the way of this part over here, which I believe is mostly for the snowblower attachment on this tractor. Also, what you want to do is run the connector that goes to the electric clutch down through the hole in the frame over here. This way here, when you remove the clutch, it's not going to get snagged in there. Also a quick tip, if you don't have an air impact and you use a manual ratchet to remove the clutch, you may find that the engine will turn when you go to remove the bolt. Therefore, you're going to have to lock up the engine somehow so that it doesn't turn when you remove the bolt. You can put a rope in a cylinder to stop the engine from turning, or you can lock up the shaft above the clutch with a pipe wrench or vice grips in order to stop the engine from turning. And you may also want to disconnect the spark plugs if you do it manually. So now I'm going to continue, I'm just going to hold the clutch again, take the bolt out and I can feel the weight from the clutch is pretty significant. And now you want to retrieve the wire. And here's the drive pulley, it actually slid down, it's not seized which is a good thing. So since it's coming off so easy, I'm just going to help it down a bit and get the belt off the pulley. And there we go. And this is the position it was in, this side up. Now a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that the pulley needs to be replaced on their lawn tractor. I'm going to show you exactly why I've diagnosed this pulley here as needing to be replaced. Well here's why. You can see inside here that it's glazed or worn out a bit. Even running my finger through the pulley I can feel a ridge here on top. So that tells me there is some wear in here. And this would apply to both sides actually. And all around the pulley. And I'll just show you with a belt here what this can cause and I can freely turn the pulley with the belt in. That belt should be really tight in there that you cannot even turn the pulley. So your tractor may drive when there's no resistance but as soon as you hit some kind of resistance the pulley will spin on the belt. I see this often happen on self-propelled walk-behind lawnmowers. Now this tractor here is model number 944.607090 Here's the serial number and I've written the part number here on the pulley in case you have the same tractor and you have the same problem. Just look for this part number 194343. Also sometimes there may be the digits 532 in front of this part number and it will be the same pulley. Alright guys I just received a new pulley from Sears. I'm just going to show it to you up close to the old one. Here you can see inside the old pulley where the groove is worn out. And on the new pulley, you can see a nice V-shape, which is much better to grab onto the belt. 
So I'm going to proceed to reinstall this on the tractor now. And before I do that, I'm going to apply a bit of anti-seize on the crankshaft. I'm just going to put a thin film all around it. Do not get it on the belt. I've heard way too many horror stories of people not being able to get their pulleys off their tractor, so I just want to prevent this from happening. And I'm going to put it up all the way. You can also put a bit in the threads if you want. Now when you install the pulley, you want this part with the key notch facing up toward the engine. What I'm going to do now is put the belt inside the pulley and what you want to do is line up the notch where the key is on the pulley to the keyway hole on the shaft here. So I'm just going to turn it, line it up. And when you get to the guard, just squeeze the belt. And now you want to do the same with the electric clutch. You want to line up the key inside of it to the keyway hole on the shaft. And make sure to keep holding it and you want to install the bolt. And now with your ratchet and the 5.8 socket you want to tighten it up. Now because the engine's turning you're going to notice that you cannot properly tighten it up. So to counteract that what I've done is put a small pipe wrench locked in onto the pulley that I previously installed. And what I've done is locked in that little pipe wrench onto the pulley shaft. And now you can properly hand tighten it. I don't have the tightening specs, but I'm just going to use common sense and put it fairly tight. And you can see now that the motor is not turning. And that's good. And now I'm going to remove the small pipe wrench. And now you want to grab the wire from the electric clutch. And you want to bring it up through the hole over here and connect it to this connector here. And this connector only goes on one way so you cannot get it wrong. Now I just want to show you an important step here. You want to make sure that the wires from the electric clutch are underneath this metal part here and between the clutch here. This is the proper position of this wire and then it works its way up on top of the tractor over here to this plug. Also when you reinstall the clutch make sure that the pin protruding from the tractor goes through the hole which is located on the clutch. Once it's lined up like this, you know you have the clutch in the proper position. So that's all there is to repairing this problem, guys. I'm just gonna start up the tractor and show you that it does drive. So as you can see it's not that hard to replace the drive pulley on this tractor. If your tractor continues to have more problems you may want to replace the belt. You also may want to make sure that all the bolts are secure on the transmission. And also make sure that the proper tension is on the idler wheels of the belt. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe. It's always free and you're going to save yourself a lot of money. Have a great day.